All right, Cameron, thank you. And Cakes Maeve Ashbrook continues our team coverage. Maeve, efforts are underway to clean up some of that damage left behind. You spoke to a couple of people from Sharon Springs who witnessed this storm and are seeing that aftermath. What did they have to say? Anna, people in Sharon Springs woke up this morning to what one woman describes as carnage. The city is no stranger to severe weather, but people who live there say this storm was different. But here on the east side, the roads were littered with uh, receipts and papers from the co-op building that lost its roof. And uh, lots and lots of pokey trees and roof nails, shingle nails. Corey David was not only surveying storm damage at his home in Sharon Springs, but also from the skies, capturing these drone photos. It was kind of bittersweet. You, you kind of like the photos seeing them, but you don't like the events that lead up to them and just knowing how close it was. He says within seconds of getting an emergency alert on his phone Friday night. We could start hearing the high shrill of the wind circling. So we could tell some things were in the air and they were big items hitting other big items. The National Weather Service has issued a tornado warning uh, for parts of Wallace County. The alarm on my phone went off. Well, it says in the area. Well, in Wallace County, that could mean anything. Julie Samuelson says she's no stranger to severe weather, but... I got up this morning right off the bat and started looking around, and I'm going, oh, my gosh. It, it, it's... Awful. The storm hit multiple cities in western Kansas Friday night. In Sharon Springs, it ripped off roofs and damaged multiple buildings. For me, it's the worst. This is one of the only ones I can remember that's really gone through the heart of town. A tornado hit the city of several hundred people last October. David says it just got done fixing the damage, but now the road to recovery reset. The thing about it in Sharon Springs, if it hurts one person here, it hurts all of us. Kansas Senator Roger Marshall weighing in on Twitter, saying in a statement, quote, so thankful for our first responders and for neighbors already helping each other out. We are in contact with local officials and stand ready to assist those in need. And quote, for now, if you want to help, call the Wallace County Sheriff's Office at 785-852-4288. Live in studio, Maeve Ashbrook, Kick News on your side. All right, May, thank you. And Kick News reached out to more people in that area asking if there was any kind of message they wanted us to share for them. Kyliana says, I'd just like to say that even though it was a nasty reminder of just how helpless and meager we are against the weather, no one was seriously injured or killed last night. Everyone did a wonderful job of keeping their cool. And Billy asked us to talk about the awesome community and how everyone is coming together and helping each other because that's what we do in western Kansas. And the city of Goodland is providing a helping hand to Sharon Springs. The city shared these photos this afternoon of its line crew assisting with storm damage to several electric poles. And as far as storm debris, the city of Sharon Springs says its dump is open and accepting any that Kansans, Kansans are willing to drop off. If you can't get to the dump today, that's okay. The city says its employees will pick it up after it gets utilities working. Just leave it in a neat pile on your curb. In Kansas, Representative Adam Smith is also reacting to last night's storm in Sharon Springs. He says in part, quote, it's difficult to look at the devastation and praise God, but sometimes we never realize the mercy and protection he provides in tragedies. Avoid it. And be the first to learn about severe weather in your area by downloading the Cake First Alert weather app. It has interactive radar, video updates, and push alerts to keep you and your family safe. It's also 